Po sa press briefing ni Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abella. Good morning, sir. Uh, I'd like to begin by reading a uh, press release from the Government Peace Panel uh, representative. GPH Panel Chair Secretary Silvestre Bello III expressed sadness over the ambush yesterday of government troops by members of the New People's Army in Sitio Patil, Barangay Gupitan, Dabo del Norte. It is disheartening that the NPA failed to respect the unilateral ceasefire declared by President Duterte last Monday during the SONA. Barely two days after the ceasefire declaration, the NPA ambushed yesterday government forces killing one CAFGU member and wounding four others in Davao del Norte. Secretary Bello said that he confronted NDF panel member Fidel Agkawili on this tragic incident, and he was informed that as far as he knows, the NPA is on active defense mode since July 26, as announced by Ka Oris. He, however, promised Secretary Bello to look into the matter. The GPH panel chair said that government will await the results of NDF's verification on the matter. Agkawili further said that just like the PRRD, the NDFP is committed to resume the peace negotiations to address the roots of the armed conflict towards a just and lasting peace, as reiterated in the 15 June 2016 Oslo Joint Statement that affirms all past agreements. I strongly reiterate the call of President Duterte to the CPP, NPA, NDF to reciprocate the government's ceasefire declaration in order to immediately stop violence on the ground, protect our communities from conflict, and provide an enabling environment for the resumption of formal peace negotiations and a press release. Question will come from Joseph Morong of JMA7 about the peace talks. Sir, good morning. Good morning. Sir, has the president made a decision because last night, uh, yesterday, he said this is going to wait for until midnight for the reply of the NDF. I think this is a development and uh, you know development regarding that matter. So uh, let us await for the final. How long is the president going to wait for the NDF? Um, I don't have a timeline for that, but uh, he's giving a window. With this a statement, I believe he's giving a, a small window of opportunity. Sir, just last one question on that topic. What do you think is the effect of this incident on the peace talks, the scheduled peace talks on August 20? I expect that everything will still work out all right. Follow-up question, uh, Pia, about peace talks. Um, so, sir, will there be any development on when um, the CPP will reciprocate the ceasefire if indeed the ceasefire has not yet been lifted? I mean, is there any development on when they will reciprocate? Oh, th they're supposed to, have to be reciprocating uh, as soon as possible. There's so no uh, like target date or set No, we're not setting that. any dates on that. Okay, follow up. Rosa Venario. Sir, may plano po ba yung government na mag-pull out po ng kanila military troops sa mga NPA-infested areas as requested by... CPP founding chairman jo Joma Siso nung Tuesday at or Wednesday? Uh, if things work out as planned, if things work out as according to plan, then if uh, no, uh, then, then there will be a, how do you call it, reciprocal response from the president, from the government. Sir, meron po bang assurance yung grupo po sa Netherlands na kaya po nilang kontrolin yung kanilang tropa dito sa Pilipinas? That's what we're assuming and that, that's what President Duterte is challenging. Okay, thank, thank you. Raymond Tinasa, Bombo Radio. Sir, pero yung element of trust and confidence to the other party, the NDF, intact pa ba yun after this uh, parang uh, betrayal, even an insult to the declaration itself of the president? The onus remains on their side. So if whatever trust there is must be, uh, must be f firmed up from their side. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Follow-up question? Uh, Joseph Morong. Sir, I just don't want to assume how the, what the president was thinking yesterday, but can you just walk us through yung nangyari kahapon when he received the information that uh, there were ambushes, that may uh, many namatay na tatlong kafku. How is the president treating this? And, uh, well, uh, I think we saw it during, during his, uh, the, his, um, his taped response, and you saw how. Uh, well, he was, of course, it was a very upsetting news, but he was very much in control. 
May follow-up question pa about peace talks? Other issue na lang? Peace talks. Uh, Joseph so yung sinasabi nila ang dalawang conditions, set free yung mga consultants, and we're talking about 22 or all 500? Um, the, the I think the consultants are only a small number, right? 22 lang yan, sir. Okay. The, the, and then yung pull out of troops. Are the, baka kasi magkaiba lang, sir, ng pananaw yung NDF and ng government. Are these preconditions to the government's mind before we proceed with the... They're not preconditions, not in, in effect. They're part of, but not preconditions. Yes, Pia. Yeah. Follow up. Uh, JP, JP first of Manila Standard, then Pia. Sir, until when yung window of opportunity may be beginning? Well, it, it's a very, of course, it's, actually it should not be existing. <laughs> actually, actually, it actually ought not to be there, but there is a very brief window of opportunity. Okay. Um, sir, last na lang. Um, um, will the government pursue with the release of political prisoners as being requested by the CPP? Let's put it this way. As soon as the trust is restored, then things will proceed as agreed upon. Meron na po bang quantify, quantifier, sir, from the GPH panel or the OPAP? May sinabi na po ba sila with regards to um, how can we um, resume the trust? Ano yung um, para? Ito nga, inaantay natin yung kanilang ano, their, their appropriate response as Secretary Bellio said. Thank you. Thank you. Pia, Rappler. So, sir, since last night, has there been any talk between President Duterte and anyone from the left movement about the hap the incident? And is this um, yung investigation of the, the left with the NPA rebels is enough to, to qualify that they are doing something about it? Or this D President Duterte, is he waiting for more of an explanation? Let's just put it this way. I don't have any updates on, on, the, on what happened since last night, but let's go by this. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ina, yes. Ina. Ina. Sir, sino po pala yung um, leftist congressman na sinasabi ni President Duterte that he called soon after he learned about the ambush? Um, I'm not familiar with the, you know, the actual you know, okay. person here. Sir, and uh, knowing the president, do you think, kasi last night he was uh, firm that yes. if you do not give me an explanation by tonight, uh, he will possibly um, suspend the ceasefire, mm -hmm. basically. Knowing the president, do you think he's actually amenable to maybe extending that um, deadline, or can we expect that his decision will be announced at least within today? Well, let's put it this way. The president is a very rational person, and he will do what needs to be done. Thank you. Okay. Other issue now? May follow up about peace talks? No more? Other issue? Laila Salaveria? Sir, with regard to charter change, the president expressed his yes. preference for a constituent assembly. Mm -hmm. How does the palace intend to convince lawmakers to support this mode of uh, amendment since many of, uh, well, several of them have also expressed misgivings about a con as uh, they're saying it might be become a self-serving exercise? Mm -hmm. Well, first and foremost, whatever decisions this will, first and foremost, whatever results will be from the uh, con con or con as whatever, it will be to the benefit of the next generation of leaders, right? It will not be affecting them directly. So being self-serving does not really come into play here. Um, having said that, uh, oh, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, the president said that um, he's in favor of con as because it's cheaper. What's the estimate? We don't that? know exactly the estimate, but according to DBM, it's an enormous amount of money. <laughs> it's an enormous amount of money, and may affect, for example, the uh, may affect the uh, the proposed increase, uh, pro proposed increases, and the other projects that are also all lined up. So basically that, and also the, the you know basically that, that it's going to cost an enormous amount of money. Thank you. Okay. Follow up, Raymond Tinasa, Bomborajo. So about the justification of uh, the budget secretary that it's because it's cheaper. Is that fair considering the sanctity of its provision of our uh, constitution? You know, what we're moving towards is federalism, right? right. And we're all agreed, uh, more or less all agreed, that this is going to be for the greater good. So the intention, uh, in a sense, in a very real sense, justifies uh, the form that it will take. Thank you. Uh, Follow-up question, charter change, no more. Other issue? Okay, Pia. <laughs> um, uh, sir, 
in the NSC meeting, was there any more uh, specific instructions to former President Ramos on his mission in Beijing? Like, uh, I think in certain speeches, President Duterte indicated that he might uh, not mention the Hague ruling first when jump-starting the talks. Has there been any specific instructions? Well, basically this. Yeah, the, it's, it, they're not necessarily instructions, but these are, I suppose, uh, principles of wisdom about how to go about the conversation that uh, you, know, you can start with things that you can agree on and not necessarily begin from an adversarial or insistent position. So uh, basically, it's, it's a very diplomatic route. Follow. Instead of confrontation, it's basically a, a, yeah, go ahead. So safe to say, sir, he will not mention the WPS ruling since that's not something they agree on. Let's come again. Uh, sir, because you said they will begin on things they can agree on. That's right. The Hague ruling is not something they agree on. So are you saying that they will not touch on the Hague ruling? Diplomatically, I'm just telling you. <laughs> that what they mean, what they can begin with, all right? So if things, circumstances allow, then they will talk about what they can talk about. Follow up, Ina Andolong, then Joseph Morrow. Sir, what inputs did the former presidents give regarding how um, they think the admin current administration should handle this um, ruling? Um, they, d they did have, I don't have the specific, um, they do I don't have the specific, uh, Items, although I did try to retrieve it, but uh, as soon as I can, I'll get it to you guys. Okay. Yeah. And sir, what specific role will um, Mr. Rafael Alunan um, play? Because uh, his name was mentioned by the president last yes. night. Should FBR not be ready or not be available for the role, for the task? Joseph Morrow? Sir, Kilan kaya mag start yung mission ni uh, President Ramos? I think they're just simply, they're, 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 they're taking that, they're taking that. They're taking the time to put together a, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, the, the package. <laughs> we're not, you know, in a sense, there's, we're not really rushing into this. Okay, you know, yeah. okay any question, Raymond? Other issue or follow up? West Philippine Sea. West Philippine Sea, okay. Sir, can the Duterte administration check those reports that the actually those soil or land being used to, uh, Reclaim uh, the Scarborough Shoal came from the Zambales area. Is this isn't this a treason on whoever is uh, the official involved there? Can we check the veracity of this uh, ongoing reports ever since? Well, let's put it this way: President Duterte at this stage is interested in moving forward. You know, moving forward. And uh, on the other hand, he's not saying, like he said, that those who are guilty will also have to face the music. So, but he's allowing the process to, you know, to take its own rhythm. Okay. So, so safe to s assume that uh, the president is interested to investigate that this soil uh, used in the Scarborough Shoal is actually from our own land. It's not his primary concern at this stage, but it will come to play if necessary. Thank you, sir. Sure. Okay. Dexter Ganibe, then Maki, um, Aileen Taliping. Secretary, may ito. Sir. Uh, yung si kay DILG, dating DILG Secretary Rafael Alunan, yes, uh, magiging uh, tawag dito, kapalitan siya ni FBR kung uh, sakasakaling hindi. Kung sakasakali. Sakasakali. Eh, for example, uh, you know, if, if uh, what's his name, if, if uh, President Ramos had said no, then I, I believe uh, Ra um, Mr. Alunan was also a viable. Pero sir, yung kanyang uh, one-year ban ay matatapos pa sa Mayo next year. Mm -hmm. Paano kaya mangyayari kung halimbawa within the year kung, or any appointment Let's sa Let's assume kanyang. the best for FVR. <laughs> okay. Aileen Talipin, DWIZ. Sir, follow up on, on yes. uh, West Philippines. Uh, do you have information on the reports that some Chinese military are now in Zambales? Um, right now, I do not have any... I don't, I don't have any. I'm not privy to any report. Yeah, wala pa pong report ang... Right, uh, ako personally, wala. Okay, okay thank, thank you, sir. Okay, question pa about West Philippine Sea. Other issue? Joseph Morrow? Oh, uh, Pia, issue. West Philippine Sea. Um, sir, uh, yesterday, President Duterte said that um, President Arroyo um, advised caution while President um, Estrada advised restraint. Could you just give a more elaborate or more... Um, more elaboration on what they recommended exactly, what they me meant by restraint and caution? Basically, those are synonyms, right? Um, <laughs> they're all coming from the same spot. They're all coming from the same place of approaching diplomatically. 
you know. Not in other words, we're, uh, this this still goes. Uh, th this does not run counter to what uh, President Ted said. We will, although we won the arbitration, we will not flaunt it. You know. So we will. We still, in other words, we're still. Yes, we. <laughs> our position is basically that we stand on the ruling. However, we will proceed diplomatically. Okay. Yes. Follow up, Ina. President Duterte said he thanked former President Aquino for the um, Hague, for filing basically yes, the yes. case and uh, winning it for us. Did the former president also maybe give his suggestions on how um, they should move forward or uh, go He ahead? did give an indication of how to do that, although the, the details, I do not have it right now. Okay. Uh, Follow-up question for the West Philippines, other issue, Joseph? Sir, sabi ni, yung sa salary inc increase lang, sir, may detalye ba kung magkano yung first tranche for soldiers uh, and police? I don't no? have the detail for the first tranche, no? For the first, uh, although he did, although, he, you know, he did give the assurance that it will be fulfilled. <laughs> eh, kaya lang talaga, because this, this particular, this year is still the budget of last year. Uh -huh. So he cannot really impose upon it. But he did say that there will be in, in, incremental increase, and they, I, I believe he said that uh, by next month, there'll so be August something. August 15, sir. Probably so. Probably <laughs> so. <laughs> Follow up. Okay, Pia. Sir, just um, on the Miss Universe, yes. um, just want to clarify, because there have been conflicting reports now saying that uh, Duterte rejected it, and then also that it's, it's going to push through. Can you just clarify what exactly he meant? No, ba basically, when it was first uh, broached to the president, um, I think he, some, he said it's going to be magasto, no? His impression was it's going to be very expensive. Apparently to the tune of uh, 11 million U.S. dollars. He, that was his assumption, but uh, I think he has been assured this time that uh, the Philippines will not, the Philippine government will not be uh, giving out, uh, quote-unquote, single centavo, except, of course, in terms of services, in terms of protection, in terms of security, but not in actual cash out. Sir, because the last time we hosted uh, Miss Universe, the when default, the government ended up paying for for parts of it. Is he not fearing this scenario? Well, if he's assured that uh, it's going to be coming from another sector, m mainly private, then there's there's no need to fear. Okay, Raymond Tinasa, microphone, please. Thank you, Joseph. Just to clarify, because I remember the former president Aquino uh, signed an executive order implementing the. Uh, suppose uh, salary standardization law for for the year 2016. Mm -hmm. So nandito na sa 2016 budget yung mm -hmm. first trans. Mm -hmm. So hindi ba ito iba ba yan yung ibibigay na increase doon sa uh, mga soldiers? Um, I don't know about the technicality of it, but uh, basically he's the, the president simply standing on his word that he will make sure that those who work their part will also be rewarded amply. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Question? So, uh, other other issues? Okay. Sir, may info tayo tungkol sa power situation sa Luzon kasi for the past couple of days, I think yellow and naging red na yata ngayon. Uh, about the water levels? And this is power po. The power. Pa electricity. Um, uh, I'm not privy to that. I'm not privy. Sir, yes. uh, John, are you? Sir, saan kukunin yung budget sa salary increase? Kasi sinasabi ng Pangulo na wala namang budget yung inabutan na lang yung 2016 budget. Hindi sa walang budget. Pero in other words, uh, not to, walang budget to sufficiently cover yung naka, ano. But there will be. There, there are sources of income. The, uh, like? To which I am not privy. Okay. Questions? Okay nang malaki niyang press corps? It's Friday. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> okay, I think okay now. MPC, thank you, Secretary. Thank God Abelia. it's Friday. All right, see you guys. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, Secretary Abelia. Thank you, Malakanyang Press Corps. Back to our main studio, Sarajo Nabayan at PTV News.